Gemini, what's up? It is I, New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader, and I'm here to do the general readings for the Gem Gems. What's up, guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for being here. Um, what do I have to say? Nothing really much this week. Um, let's just start, all right? So this message could resonate for you if you have Gemini's, a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Um... Leap of faith just flew out. Some of you guys doing something new mm -hmm. in a new relationship, doing something new in a new hobby. All right, Gemini, I'm gonna pull some energy cards, see what's going on with your energy, and then we're going to pull some tarot and then some advice at the end. Okay, Gem. <sighs> Gemini, 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 at this moment. Leap of faith came out again. Gemini. That's crazy. <laughs> Gemini. Alright. I feel like doing this. So I'm gonna do it. Alright. Gemini spirit. Gemini. <sighs> what does Gemini have to know at this moment? Thank you. Yeah, I felt that. What else for Gemini spirit? 10 10. Yeah, I got an ending here. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Okay, right, bottom of the deck is the King of Raphael. I love it. Love it. Okay. All right, Gem. So, what you don't see coming, let's talk about it. You got the, the King of Raphael, the Nine of Raphael, and the Six of Ariel. All right. So. <sighs> <laughs> you got a lot of things. You got a lot of good things coming, Jim. And I feel like you guys are ending something. Like your your energy right now is like you're in the energy of things ending. Okay, things being kind of heavy here. But what you don't see coming is great things. Okay, King of Raphael is is like it's technically the King of Cups and Tarot. It's like you're emotionally ready. You're ready. You're ready for something here. The Nine of Raphael, make a wish, dreams come true. Like, uh, and then you have the Six of Ariel, uh, material. Needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Like, what, Gem? Like, I see good things here. I'm so happy for you, Gem. Applaud, applaud, applaud. Definitely good things coming to you, okay, on, on the materialistic side, all right? So if you're stressing about anything materialistic, you're gonna have good things here. Um, Let's just clarify. I just want to clarify. It's very good. Clarify six of Ariel. The Hierophant. It could be something that um, you have been wanting for a long time. Something that you're in for a long time. Um, it could be a commitment here. It could be a religion. Um, it could be a practice. Something here that is um, put like something that you're going to be there for a long time whatever that you're going to have success in here it's going to be there for a long time the emperor the king of coins the king of cups is here again and the strength card whatever you're going to have whatever is coming for you is you're, you're going to have it for a while 10 plus years okay with the higher card here they're not telling me what it is because i guess they're like uh <laughs> all right for each of you it could be different but there's something that you're going to have a lot of success in okay it's going to make you very happy with the nine of Raphael. And with the King of Raphael, you're ready for it. Like, you're emotionally ready, so don't be doubtful when it comes, okay? All right, so the energy that you got now is the Ten of Gabriel, all right? So it says, ask your angels for help for people, to lighten the load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. You're just doing a lot. You're doing a lot, a lot of, respons a lot of responsibility right now. Um, and it's just extra burdensome for you. We're going to clarify these, okay? Then you have the Ten of Michael here. All right, a situation has ended and you're finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Yeah, there's an energy of something ending here because it was just too much to deal with, okay? And then you have the Knight of Ariel here, okay? Which translates to the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, there's so much to accomplish. Make a detailed plan being washed over by someone kind. I mean, yeah, there's you're. it's like something is ending, but you're like walking right into something new, like right into it um and you you got a plan for it i feel like this is taking a while i feel like it's i feel like it took a while to get here and it's gonna take a while for it to kick off as well 
but just stay just stay devoted and loyal to it like you've been um and you'll be fine here okay all right for 10 of gabriel can you clarify 10 of gabriel you have the three of sorry <laughs> you have the three of swords here so yeah gem um whatever it is that you know a lot of you are working too hard to please somebody who isn't pulling their weight here the three of swords is causing you a lot of pain two of swords the star and the nine of cups yeah there's a need of, of for you to heal this broken heart here with the three of swords okay um there is some pain here two of swords the star and the nine of cups it's like you're decide it's like you're trying to decide it you're trying to decide something here but it's like you there's no there's no need for you to decide anything i feel like you're trying to decide something that is kind of like irrelevant is what i want to say to you gemini because what matters is you here you matter here with the star card you need to heal this pain here that you felt from whatever energy here that you, it could have been a fire sign with with um with the ten of gabriel but there's something here that you were just doing too much here and it caused you pain um it's very it's very also saying to ask them to help you but once you heal you have the nine of cups you will find joy and contentment in healing here but you need to do that okay Ten of Michael straight, can you clarify? Ten of Michael. I mean, if this is freshly new, you know, definitely take your time with it. Six of Wands. Yeah. You're gonna have success from whatever it is that that, that, that um you walked away from. We have the six of wands here twice because you have the six of air we have at the bottom. Okay. The sun, the six of cups, the ace of wands. Look at that. A lot of you guys could have walked away from something from your past. Okay. Um Ace of Coins, wow prosperous new beginnings yeah you ended something here okay and that took a lot of courage with the sun card a lot of courage but you but you did it you did it and put who it's to you and because you did it, it's gonna be success coming now spirit is now going to bless you with you know whatever it is that you guys want is different for everyone here with the ace of wands there could be a new beginning in um a create creativity aspect here you could be having to put your you know your creativeness to the test here okay um for a lot of you this thing that's coming or this thing that ended was something from your past or there was children involved or there was just childish energy there okay so who's to you right nine of ariel spirit can you clarify because no one needs that six of swords i love it yeah you're moving into calmer waters you're there's a lot to do, but you're slowly but surely getting there, okay? Three of coins, ace of cups, and the tower. Yeah, something definitely fell here, okay? Um, definitely fell here uh, because it was just built on false foundation, okay? And you had to get on this boat <laughs> once the tower fell and move into calmer waters, which you're doing, all right? And once you do that, you're going to find on the other side, right? Like, you see them? They're over here traveling to this island here there um they're moving into a better lifestyle right once you start doing that ace of cups three of pentacles you're gonna get some love here a love offer it could be if not you're gonna just be putting all your love and attention into something here with the three of pentacles you're gonna be working with someone here teamwork collaboration is required here um so you know you could some of you i just heard giving your love to a lot to a, other people so some of you guys could be giving your love to other people um in in a special way that's made that's just for you right whether that's you you know sending people little cute valentine things or a nice cute message whatever the case is here all right okay gem so now let's pull the tarot and see what's going on with the tarot Well, there's something that's coming and they want you to know that it's safe to trust okay gemini some of you guys might not take it <laughs> so it's safe to trust as well the situation that happened okay this was meant to end some of you guys could be like oh damn it the right choice da, 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 da. no okay this was meant to happen at this moment all right gemini spirit gemini thank you Thank you. Wow. One more fire for Gemini. 
you guys are you guys are very either you guys have pisces in your chart could be dealing with a pisces or are very intuitive all right knight of cups is the card on the bottom of the deck then you have the eight of cups and then you have the three of cups all right so let's talk Sorry, guys. The first card that you got is the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you could be single, could have walked away from a relationship, okay? For others of you, it's like you're finding out your self-worth. You're finding out what what you're good at here, what you, can, what you can provide for yourself here. A lot of success in something. We're going to clarify what we're going to see, okay? And then you have the High Priestess. So your intuition is talking to you at the moment. And it's trying to tell you something. And we're going to clarify what that is, all right? And then you have Five of Cups, all right? I'm not surprised by the Five of Cups, honestly. Um, it's like regret, failure, disappointment, grief, loss, right? I mean, you're in the energy of loss. You lost something, so now you're like, hmm, no, right? That's normal, right? It's normal. You're upset. You're sad that's normal especially with the six of uh, cups that you had this person was in your life for a while There's a lot of memories there right nine of cups eight of cups and the three of cups so i feel like it's gonna be so i'm confused here the nine of cups to me is somebody coming and offering you love here the eight of cups is leaving is searching for the truth and then the three of cups is celebration so i feel like some of you guys someone's might offer you something and you might like be searching for the truth trying to find out if that's really true you, you you might be like yeah yeah hold on i'll be back and then you know go searching for the truth if this person even you know because you just ended something here so now it's like this person just i don't know if this is the same person <laughs> as soon as i said that six of cups this is um memories childhood people from your past gemini so i think this person's gonna come back this person's gonna come back and with a three of cups they're gonna want to collaborate with you work together with you as a team someone from your past is coming back that's very clear here okay um we're gonna clarify we're gonna see what these cards are here um and i think they're gonna want to celebrate with you gem they might be a Pisces or have Pisces in their chart. Interesting. Spirit, can you clarify the Nine of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Six of Wands. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of a lot of success by putting into yourself right now. Okay? The Magician, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, that's how you guys are going to manifest what you guys want, is pouring love into you right now. All right, Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands. You guys do want, um, there's definitely going to be a message that's going to be coming in here with the Page of Cups, all right? But this person with the Page of Cups, it's like, they're coming in, they're coming in as a knight, which I, which, you know, is better than a page, okay? So they're almost there, um... You know, use your own discur discernment, right? You know if you want this person to come back or not. But with the Ace of Wands, they're coming with some passionate ideas here. They want to. They want a passionate new creative. Well, not creative, but a passionate new start here with you. Okay, and I feel like they're creating that with the Five of Cups. You guys definitely could have broken up in some ways. Like I don't want to break up anymore. I, they're manifesting you back into their life, or you are. And if you're the one that's manifesting this person back into your life, you're going to be successful with that, okay? Sometimes I do want to say that the Tower card, sometimes, sometimes things end because they have to be built on better foundation. It doesn't mean that it's over forever. It just means that you guys need to try it again in a, a different way, right? All right. The High Priestess Spirit. Can you clarify the High Priestess? Why is the High Priestess here, Spirit? High Priestess. I feel like your tuition is telling you that you're going to have success in something. The hanged man. Your tuition is telling you to change your perspective on, on, on a situation, okay? It could be this ending, right? They could be saying, hey, don't look at it as an ending. Look at it as a see you later. <laughs> All right, Jem. You have the world, the two of pentacles, and the queen of cups. So there's something that you guys will be completing once you do look at something a different way, okay? Um, with the Two of Pentacles and the Ace, 
and the Queen of Cups, there's going to be some changes, all right, involving your emotions here and how you feel. Once you change your perspective, things, how you feel is going to change as well because you could be looking at it from a different point of view that is not the way to, that it could, that it has to be here. Okay, so um, it could it could also be with the Ten of Michael that you could have deaded a certain mindset because the Ten of Michaels is all about the mind as well. So you guys could have ended, stop, you know, refusing to think a certain way that you knew wasn't getting you anywhere here. Okay, um, but definitely look at something a different way here. Your intuition is telling you to change your perspective, and it's like you could be like, no, God, da 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 da, you know, like fighting your own self here. But definitely look at something, look at the situation that ended a different way. Change your perspective to see, um, you know, we, there's a lot of things that we've missed in certain situations. And um, we're not always right, Gemini. Okay, so just make sure that you are open to seeing things from different points of views, all right? There's always, there's always more to a story than what we think, okay? Because the other, the other party might not even say half of it. That's probably why this person is coming back to tell you something. Because they're like, no, I can't have this end like this right the three of wands and the knight of the knight of swords you could be looking to go somewhere all right five of cups there can you clarify five of cups the high priestess again <laughs> you got the high priestess and the high priestess crossing each other like to me that's like you guys are very intuitive very spiritual here knight of swords three of wands and the ace of wands yeah you got, you're gonna get some truth that there's something coming here um because you're looking for something here you're looking for something with the knight of swords okay you could be looking for communication and you're gonna get it if you're looking for communication if you're trying to you're gonna get it all right um listen to your intuition as well when it comes to this loss this sadness because i feel like your intuition is trying to tell you change your perspective look at it from a different way you'll see that if you look at it from a different way it's not as bad as you think all right gem all right let's see what your advice is what's the advice for gemini spirit what's the advice what's the advice for gemini what's the advice thank you one more card can I have one more card for the Gemini? One more card. Thank you. All right. So you got success, all right? I feel like they're saying you're going to have success in whatever it is that you're pouring your heart into here. Whatever you're very passionate about <clears throat> with the King of Raphael and you're um, putting your creative passions into, you're going to have a lot of success in that area of your life, okay? And then you have standstill. OK, so there's a need for you to stand still, literally, and not do anything here. Um, stand still and just let things be here. Let the universe work in your favor, because I feel like they could be working behind the scenes. And then you have security. Yeah, this is my we got your back card. So spirit is saying we got you. You're secured here. There's no reason for you to feel scared or alone or lonely. We got you. They got this energy here. And that's probably why they're telling you to stand still. It's just wait. And like I said, this person's going to come and speak again. So they want you to wait and not make any hasty decisions at the moment. All right, Jen. Well, that's all that I have for you today. I hope it brought some clarity or some insight into your situation. And yeah, Jim, have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this and stay positive.